I think obviously the impetus for the, the development of the AMI for you, Trent, was um, the prolific, prolific a ACL injuries and the no amount of non-contact ACL injuries that are preventable. But this is not just for ACL injuries. You want to talk to how it, it impacts anything? Yeah, you Both. know, it, in, in, it, it's, yeah. So uh, originally, um, you know, obviously my, my, my passion uh, has been around preventing ACL injuries. And uh, what we found is that when you improve biomechanics, guess what? Ankle injuries go down. Knee injuries go down. ACL injuries go down. Hip injuries go down. Low back injuries go down. Athletic performance goes up. So, you know, um, we've got, uh, again, we've got multiple studies going on. Um, and what, one of the things that we do with all of our studies uh, is that we tap into, uh, we do this mostly at college, at the college level um, and for multiple reasons, control variables, et cetera. But the other thing is, is that we track um, cost, healthcare cost that's associated with our intervention. And one of the things that we're seeing is we're saving an average of about 44% in healthcare cost uh, for a university. And that comes from multiple things. And again, we're measuring all these. It comes from multiple things. Number one, we're reducing surgeries. So you reduce surgeries, you have a big impact on cost. Um, the other thing is, is that we're reducing the total number of injuries. So again, that's going to impact cost. But the other thing that we're seeing is that we're actually reducing um, the time uh, that it takes to recover from an injury. So what we're seeing is that those who actually have an injury, they're not on the DL as long. And why is that? Our speculation is, is because they're controlling their movement, when they actually do suffer an injury, it's not to the same magnitude as it would normally be. And so what we're seeing is that the average day, uh, average days on the DL after an injury occurs is actually less than it was before. 